Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Nikki with Homeschool Knockouts and we are at the beginning of March Madness where I'm going through curriculum flip throughs all throughout the month of March. That's why it's madness for me on my part. Today's video, we will be flipping through Michael Clay Thompson's Grammar Island, the teacher manual, okay? Not much different from the student manual. Now remember, this is not a review, okay? If you want reviews of these flip throughs, check out my playlist up above my curriculum review playlist. This is simply a flip through. I find sometimes just looking at an excerpt or a handful of chapters doesn't paint the full picture of that curriculum. So um, for those of you who don't have the luxury of a homeschool bookstore nearby, I don't. Um, this is for you to be able to just sit down, have a little cup of coffee, so I'm stronger, and just, you know, let me flip through for you, okay? And you can make the decision whether this curriculum is for you. You can make an informed decision, okay? Because you've seen every page, okay? Nosy nosies. So, so let's get going. You know. Okay, my lovelies, we have Grammar Island here by Michael Clay Thompson. And this is the teacher manual, which looks just like the student manual. Now, I have an older book. This is the second edition. But all the previous editions I've seen were identical to each other. So... Take that for what it's worth. Okay, so let's go ahead and get flipping through this book. All right, we have our table of contents. Easy peasy. This book is divided into four parts, and I do have them marked here for when I was teaching and using this with just tabs, so I know just a little progress indicator that I use, okay? You don't have to do that. All right, and we'll go through all of these and we'll, of course, go through the teacher resource section, okay? So we're just going to flip through and uh, I'll stop every now and then just to drop a little bit of commentary. But remember, this is not a review. Now, this is the introduction. You will see these boxes, these color-coded boxes throughout. These will not appear in the student book. These are for the teacher book, okay? And these are just like little notes, okay? Um, you'll see these colored words throughout. And as we go through, you'll understand what the colored um, words or sentences mean, okay? So let's start the flip through okay remember we are going coast to coast to get the most I am not reviewing this I am just showing you what there is all right we're on part one So you see how the um, all the words have different colors. Each color um, is represented by a part of speech. So it does bring in color association, which I think is wonderful. So you see here you have pronouns are teal, adverbs are pink, nouns are blue, prepositions are green, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Also, you'll see these little bubbles um, at the top of the page. You can't see the smaller bubbles, but each of those bubbles is a part of speech. It's just another visual representation. It's, think of it as number bonds in mathematics, okay? So these are word bonds, if you will. And so it just allows your child to see how words work together, how they um, interact. And then you have all of your beautiful um, pictures, um, which I think is wonderful. Okay. My book falling apart here. All right, part two. Beautiful, beautiful artwork.
So you see some diagramming going on here. Beautiful artwork. Now, one thing to note is that when you're using this book, you are only using this book. You are not using the practice book, which is the workbook. You're not using this until you are done with this one, okay? This comes first, then this one, okay? So all of this is in story form. So by the time you are done with the story, you can carry the work into uh, the workbook. So don't worry about, oh my goodness, my child needs to do the work as he's reading. No, he, your child doesn't have to do that. They can do the whole book. It's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. It is up to you. But the program recommends you you read the book and then start um, the practice stuff. Okay, Do what works best for you. You see how they start to put um, the sentences or words up here in the bubbles versus just the parts of speech? Okay. Now, how quickly can you read this? It depends on you. Some people spend maybe two weeks. Some people spend four weeks. They might do a week for each part of the book, right? It totally depends on you. But you definitely want to read the full book before you do the practice island book or your child might be lost with how to diagram. Okay? And we're about to wrap up. And we wrapped up. Okay? So you think this is the end. It says the beginning. They mean that. It's the beginning of working on this. Okay? Here is the teacher resource section. And there you have it, Grammar Islands by Michael Clay Thompson. This is the teacher manual. And this is the second edition that concludes our flip through. Now, let me bring it back to my face. And there you have it. That is our flip through of Grammar Island by Michael Clay Thompson. I hope that was valuable for you so you could see everything that is contained in this curriculum. It's a wonderful curriculum. Now, if you want to see the other books in this series by Michael Clay Thompson, the Grammar Island series, please um, click on this video here and you can see some of the other videos. I have Sentence Island, Practice Island, and I think one more that completes the set for Grammar Island. Don't, don't quote me on that but you'll find it here. And if you want some curriculum reviews, check out my curriculum playlist above my head. And if you found some value in this video, please put a like on the video, maybe drop a comment or share this video. That tells me that you find some value in these videos and that encourages me to make more videos like this. So let me know you like this so I can keep on popping them out. Until then, I will see you in the next year. This is Nikki. I love you guys. You're doing an amazing job just taking control of your children's education. Love you. Bye-bye.